Mm. When you don't use a lot, I don't know. Turn off all the lights before you leave and recycle and stuff like that. If you have lights on, um, the ones that you're not using, you could turn them off. Nope. We don't have light switches, they're just the automatic lights. So. Energy is a tough subject to talk about. We know it's there, but what is it, and why is saving it so important? Let's go see what Des Moines Public Schools is doing to teach its students about the importance of saving energy. Now, you're probably asking, what is energy? Well, Google defines it as power derived from the utilization of physical or chemical resources, especially to provide light or heat or to work machines. <laughs> well, that makes sense, but what's the big deal? I mean, why should we care? All 67 DMPS buildings use energy, and of those, 56 are Energy Star rated, so you obviously know how to use it properly. You see, the secret to saving energy is knowing how to use it and how to reuse it. Let's take a look at the downtown school. They're not only educating their students about recycling, but they're partnering with IESA to take their knowledge outside the classroom, giving them a unique opportunity to recycle within the building. We started the school year with a recycling project and how we did that was we asked them, the students, our students, a question on how could we run a recycling program from the downtown school and what we would need to know. So the children actually designed what our part of the program might look like with the help of the high school students and Mr. Beal. We have different jobs. Um, some groups are the teachers which go and help teach kids about what goes in the recycling and what doesn't. And then some other kids are the inventory and quality control, which sees if there's like tissues and band-aids and stuff like that in the recycling bins. Every other Wednesday, we're either collecting data on what fraction of the recycling bin is full or recycling with the high schoolers. Central Campus's Iowa Energy and Sustainability Academy is the only program of its kind in the entire state. They focus on studying energy management, conservation, sustainability, and design in a hands-on project-based environment. But don't take my word for it. Let's see what they're up to. One of the big projects we worked on um, starting this fall was restoring plant communities. We took a trip to Neil Smith Wildlife Refuge and learned about the prairie restoration efforts that they're doing there and have started to study it in and out of the classroom. Every Wednesday, we split up into groups and we separate within the different floors of the buildings, both Central Campus and Central Academy, and we pick up all of the paper recycling and all of the can recycling. We got a donation of solar panel kits and then every student in the IESA was presented with the opportunity to actually build our own solar panel. IESA is a class that takes the basics from your other science classes and pinpoints it into sustainability and environmental practices. I don't think that I've ever looked at a textbook, and that's really cool because it's all hands-on and project-based. So we're learning through creating and through researching. The Iowa Energy and Sustainability Academy has provided a lot of opportunities for me. Um, along the lines of college and, you know, um, preparing me for internships and preparing me for, you know, careers that, you know, I take a really big interest in. Now that we've seen what DMPS is doing to educate its students, let's see what the district has done to win the Energy Star Award. 38 of the 67 buildings in the district use geothermal heating and cooling systems, lowering the cost of energy to an average of 65 cents per square foot. Last year, 91,000 energy efficient light bulbs were installed in numerous DMPS buildings, and the majority are automatic. All of the district's facilities are connected to a building management system, which allows the district to monitor and control all of the building systems in real time. We also have a large number of energy efficient windows and doors, and our roofs are well insulated. As of now, 56 of our 67 buildings are Energy Star rated, which is equivalent to 84%. I'd say we're doing pretty well. As we mentioned before, education is the first step that Des Moines Public Schools is taking to better the environment. But it doesn't stop with education. Here at DMPS, monthly issues of the Energy Report Card are handed out so that everyone can see what the district is doing well and how it can improve. Now, let's take a look back at the kids that we started with. 
Use energy efficient, compact fluorescent light bulbs. Do a home energy audit. Keep your vents clean. Switch directions of your ceiling fan. Counterclockwise in the winter and clockwise in the summer. We're working on teaching the next generation about saving energy. If they can learn it, then so can you.